What's going on, J Squad? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm heading up to uh, Waterford for some porgy fishing. We're gonna do the giveaway today. Um, I've been going back and forth in my mind what to do here. Uh, I did leave specific instructions on how to enter for the giveaway. Um, a bunch of people did uh, comment and watch the video. I, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong, it's awesome. But uh, I did say to give me your um, PP uh, bass or whatever your um, bucket list fish is and also go to my last video which was the Florida Keys fishing videos and leave a message there don't even gotta watch the video just put anything on that video write anything and you would have been entered uh, a lot of people gave me their PP pass saying they wanted to be in the giveaway but they didn't do the second part so I'm like man do I still put them into the giveaway or not because technically they're not entered um, the reason I did it this way is because a lot of people I would think would I'm not saying this is what happened with these people here but I know some people would watch a subscriber giveaway video um, open it up read the comments find out what people are leaving for a comment figure out that that's what you got to do to enter put the, the information in and they're entered and they didn't even watch the video so that's why I said go to my other Sorry about that. That's why I said go to my other video and uh, leave a comment there. And only like seven people out of so many, only like seven people actually commented in the second video. Now I know those seven for a fact watched their entire entire video because they uh, they did what they were supposed to. So I know some people are gonna be upset with me, but fair is fair. Only uh, seven people technically entered the giveaway. So I'm only gonna enter those seven names into the giveaway and uh, pull a name out to see who wins the other guys again i appreciate you watching if, if you forgot or, or or didn't see that part i'm sorry technically you are not entered into the giveaway so I, I can't put you in it's only it's only fair i think if i'm wrong please let me know but it's only fair that the people who actually entered uh are put in for the giveaway so uh heading off to waterford today uh like i said Hopefully we get some porgies today. I have about an hour drive to get there, so uh, we'll see you guys on the water. All right, guys, so I've been here probably about five minutes. I don't even got a line in the water yet. And some boaters came in and they caught a lot of porgies out there. So uh, they said, you want some porgies? I'm like, heck yeah. So I already got fish without fishing, but I'm gonna pay it forward because these people have been here. I spoke to them when I first got here and they haven't gotten anything. They gave me two bags, so I'm gonna give them one bag. Pay it forward, right? Wow, we gotta wait for the tide to come up. Probably gonna be a couple hours before I'm able to catch anything, but I'll wait it out. Le pedí permiso a ellos si le puede dar una bolsita. Me dijo que si quiere pescado. Está bien, okay. Me dieron dos bolsitas, fue. Okay. Porgis. Yo le pregunté a ella si le puedo dar a ustedes y ella me dijo que sí. So, me dio dos bolsitas. Si quiero una para usted, y yo cojo una para mí. Gracias. ¿Quiere una? Sí. Venga, la voy a echarla ahí. A ver, nosotros cogimos este, pero no sé si. No está supuesto que hacer con él, pero ninguno de esos. Si los cogen, se van a meter un problema para que sepan. Ah. Sí. No está limpio. No está limpio. Está bien, como quiera. Gracias. Hey. Alright, so here we go guys. We got porgies already. We need them to fish yet. Nice. Thanks to the fine folks over there. Alright guys, yeah, tide is way too low right now. It's probably gonna be a couple hours before we're even able to catch anything. It's tough to catch something from the shore like this in low tide. But you know, we got nothing but time on our side. I'll probably just uh Hang out for a couple hours till the tide comes up a little bit and hopefully we get on a bite. I don't know if you could tell from here, but that's really low. When the tide comes all the way up here to these rocks and it's down there, so. We're gonna do what we can. Well guys, since we got time to kill, waiting for this tide to come up, I'm gonna go ahead and clean these fish that uh, were given to me. And also, I wasn't gonna say anything, but uh, I think I have to. So when I gave uh, those fish away to that couple that was here, 
Um, when I went in their cooler, at first they said no, they didn't want any fish, which I found a little weird. Finally, they said yes. And uh, when I opened their cooler to put the fish in, they had three illegal fish in there. So I would like to assume that they just didn't know any better, right? Because, you know, not everybody grew up fishing. I remember when I first started making my videos, also, I forgot my uh, scaler at home, so we're gonna have to improvise. Oh, why not? Let me measure these, make sure they're legal before I start cleaning them. Get in trouble, yes they are. When I first started making my videos, my first video was trout fishing, and I had never been trout fishing before. And people were brutal, telling me that I'm an idiot, I gotta stop fishing, what am I doing? I made a lot of mistakes. Well, quite frankly, I just didn't know any better, right? So instead of saying all that, why not teach me how to do it right so I don't continue to make those mistakes? So I told that couple that those fish were illegal and explained to them what the legal size were. They kept them anyway. So uh, after thinking about it, I, I think they knew, because like I said, at first they said no, they didn't want any fish. So they are here porgy fishing, but they don't want any free porgies. And I think they just didn't want me to go in their cooler. So if that's the case, shame on them. If they didn't know any better, then guys, if, if, if you don't know, ask somebody or just Google it. It's, it's not that hard. Google the uh, legal sizes in whatever state you're in and find out if you could keep it or not before you keep a fish you're not supposed to keep. So I just had to say that because it was bothering me. I mean, they had two blackfish in there, which the blackfish season doesn't open for another four or five days and they got to be 16 inches to keep and those fish were probably about four five inches of that so they were extremely small and, and they kept them so again hopefully they didn't know any better but that's pretty bad so keep that in mind if you you know just started fishing just make sure you check out the regulations man that's how we keep these fish out here for generations to come I'm gonna finish cleaning these fish. Hopefully the tide comes up a little bit and we'll get to fishing. All right, guys, I think we got our first one. These guys are having a blast. Just came back from the water on the boat. Alcohol is definitely involved. Good times. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna measure up. If you guys don't know, they gotta be 10 now. Used to be nine. Now it's 10. Nine and a half. Last year we could have kept this one. This year's gotta go back. All right, we're on the board, guys. This guy got all this ocean, and he keeps doing laps right where my uh, line is. I don't understand it. I don't get it. All this open ocean. Yeah, I'll be done pretty soon. I've only caught the one, nine and a half short. But I, I can't deal with this, man. I ought to lose my mind. So before I do or say something stupid, I'm probably gonna get going. Time for the giveaway. Uh, yesterday, after waiting like three hours for the tide to come up so I could finally do some fishing, and five minutes after catching my first fish, I went ahead and uh, let my frustration get to me and I left. I, I apologize for that. I'll get back out there and get you guys some content. Uh, these are the names of the six people that actually entered the giveaway correctly. So I have a roulette wheel here. I have a roulette wheel here. Uh, I numbered it 1 through 15 just to give it a little extra numbers. The first number that comes up is the one that uh, will win the giveaway. We'll go ahead and spin. Number six, which is Fisherman Studios. I'm gonna spin one more time for uh, runner up. So Fisherman Studios is the winner. All 
Oi, spin again. And Kryptony 46, Crypto New York 46, however you pronounce it, I apologize for that. You are the runner up. Both you guys have five days to send me your info via email. Uh, be advised, my email is fishwithj at gmail.com, not fishing with J. So that's fishwithj at gmail.com. Fisherman Studios and Crypto New York 46. You have five days to send me your info and I'll get your price out to you. Um, if uh, Fisherman Studios doesn't get your info to me in five days, then Crypto New York 46 will become the winner.